Rise and shine. Rise and shine, baby cakes. We got a full day ahead of us. Today we are renovating my bedroom, which is much needed. We're decorating for Halloween. We're cooking together. We're doing our nails at home and everything in between. So hang tight, girl. So first off, after I get out of bed, I gotta start with coffee first thing in the morning. Get that stuff brewing while I'm cleaning myself up. I gotta know, do you guys shower in the morning or at night? I honestly shower both because I love going to bed really clean and I love waking up and waking up by being in the shower. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know, you guys let me know. After that, I applied my lotion. This is the Mango Tree Hut Body Butter. And if you wanna smell edible, get this. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. It smells so damn good, you guys. I gotta check out what other scents they have because I'm obsessed. It leaves you super hydrated. I love body butter. Next, gotta brush those teeth. I heard you're not supposed to use these whitening toothpaste. I just had this on hand, but when you guys go pick up toothpaste, make sure you get Sensodyne. That's the only one dentists ever recommend. Like, honestly I guess um, I'm listening to morbid this morning I have to turn on something to keep me busy while I'm getting ready in the morning going in with that mouthwash because that toothpaste sucks and then my skin's been acting up I've been really bad about my skincare routine because I've been traveling a bunch so I'm going in with my $5 good molecule cleansing bar this has literally changed my skin for the better you guys it's so cheap it's so affordable and it works so good you guys i highly recommend it it leaves your face squeaky clean do you remember when this pixie glow tonic used to be all the hype like 10 years ago well i recently purchased it and i love it you guys definitely give it another chance it's still an oldie but a goodie um and if you want to save money on your toner make sure to apply it to your hands instead of a cotton swab and it's going to save so much product next i'm going in with this gua sha i think that's how you say it um and just kind of of doing a lymphatic massage kind of getting all of those fluids out of my face all the toxins it gives you an instant facelift next we finally got the coffee brewed and ready to go I bought this Tarani caramel syrup trying to be one of those barista bitches at home and girl it's too sweet like I'm right I'm used to like just cream and coffee and that added sugar was not necessary, but I really envy the girls who have a whole little setup in their kitchen. Now to get ready for the day, I'm doing my Falscara. Falscara has changed the game for me. No need to get eyelash extensions, and it's so much more comfortable than wearing like fake eyelashes. You guys need to try it. It's such an affordable way to look bomb on a budget. I love it. I use the Kiss Royal Silk Lashes and I just cut them up into four pieces. I apply them and then after like four or five days, once they're kind of wiggling loose, I'll remove them and then I'll clean them and then I'll reapply them. So you can even use the same lash over and over again. But yeah, those ones are my favorite. I feel like they give me the lash extension look, but you're not sitting in the chair for two hours and they're really affordable. After my lashes were done, I just put on a little bit of makeup for the day because I knew I was going to be on camera all day and I was not going to be caught lacking. But next, I had to fix this day four hair. I have this JVN. It's like a cream styler. You're supposed to apply it on your natural hair and it just helps with frizz and texture. And I really like it and it smells freaking amazing. I wish I could bathe in this, you guys. It's so good. Next girl, it's time to pick out an outfit. Something cute, casual, in the house type of attire. And this jumpsuit from Amazon is everything, you guys. It's so comfortable. You don't need a bra with it, but you know, I was on camera all day, so I threw on a bra. Next, I'm just picking out a scent. I have to wear a fragrance every day. And I was going in with the Giorgio Armani uh, Aqua. So I'll link it below. It smells so fresh and clean. Next, I am just trying to get my life together since I'm going to be renovating my bedroom because currently it's a hot ass mess. I figured I might as well wash my sheets. I try and wash them once a week, but you know, it's more on the every two week schedule, but <laughs> we're human. Um, but yeah, you guys, you see my bedroom? You see that nightstand over there that's barely existing? That's a box. We're going to fix that today. We got nightstands. <laughs> um, Honestly, you guys, I haven't done anything with my bedroom since moving because I don't spend any time in here. I like, but I do want to make it like a relaxing oasis. So that was my mission today, throwing all those bed sheets into the washing machine. And honestly, girl, get these bed sheets. They're from Amazon. They're like $25, the best bed sheets I've ever had. And I bought some expensive ass bed sheets, but 
Yes, besides that, we are just cleaning up the house. I do this every morning, kind of just like arranging my living room and kitchen, just so everything feels a little bit more put together. It makes me be able to relax when I'm done with work. So having a nice clean space to walk into when my office is a disaster is major key for me. The only way I'll take vitamins if they're in a gummy form. So I have a biotin collagen one, a multivitamin, and then I'm starting to take this ashwagandha one. It's supposed to help with anxiety, stress, and your libido. Uh, so I'll let you guys know if that works. I haven't really felt less stressed, but <laughs> yeah. Next we're getting into breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast girl. It, like I'm not hungry in the morning, but I'm trying to eat a little earlier in the morning because if I start filming, I'm not going to eat till like 3 in the afternoon. So. Um, I have Brussels sprouts. I already made these potatoes a few days ago and I just kind of like meal prep them and then some turkey sausage and it's kind of like a breakfast bowl. Um, I'm not a big egg girl like eggs kind of give me the ick. I'll eat them if it's like in a sandwich but like on their own it's not really it but I throw in some feta for a little bit more healthy fats and protein. And this is fire. If you guys aren't breakfast girlies, try this out. You get your greens in, you get your protein in, and you get some carbs for energy. Okay, so this is when I sit down and actually look at my emails. I look at my emails first thing in the morning. What is the first app you open up in the morning? Mine is my emails. I am an addict, but um, this is when I actually go in and reply to them. And I also catch up on my vlogs. You know, um, who do I like to watch? Sarah Ray Vargas is my favorite vlogger, hands down, but... Um, Samantha Joe, she's great too. Okay, this is when shit starts getting chaotic. I'm flipping mattresses, doing the most. Um, so I have a box spring as my main like frame of my bed, and it's ugly. It's a or it's a or side. It's an eyesore. <laughs> so I got this cover. It was like twenty bucks off Amazon, and. It changed the game for how my bedroom looked. All I need to do is get a headboard now and it's gonna look really nice. So yeah, if you guys don't wanna get a bed frame for your bed, oh, say hi to my sister. Hi, sister. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we were just talking for a little bit. Um, but anyways, get one of these if you guys wanna spruce up your bed a little bit and it, it just made the world of a difference. Like, independent lady who does not need no man. <laughs> Next, I have these nightstands. The original nightstands I wanted to order, they were like pre-stock. So I thought they were gonna come in September and they, like the date has been pushed out two months at this point. So I canceled my order and I got these and I'm so happy I did. They were, I think 120 a piece. 130 a piece and they look so nice. Not only did I really love the appearance of the nightstands, I also love that it had two drawers because I keep a lot of like random stuff by my bedside, you know, chapsticks, lotions, all of that, and I don't want it sitting on top of my nightstand. So being able to have drawers and just throw it in there is perfect for me. Um, but yeah, you guys will see the assembly. It took about two and a half hours to do two. So my only advice to you is make sure you do it in the afternoon or evening with a bottle of wine and a good documentary. So yes, here is the finished product of the nightstands. I feel like they give off a cozy yet modern feel, so they're gonna grow into like my aesthetic, you know, as time goes and different trends. So we gotta put it all together. We're pulling out those bed sheets out the dryer, we're vacuuming the bedroom real quick, get ready for our new furniture. And you guys, I am such a hype for these bed sheets. I promise if you need some good like deep fitted Deep pocket, deep pocket bed sheets. These ones are it. They come out the dryer looking so nice. I've obviously washed them a bunch, you know, no pilling or anything. They're so soft and they don't wrinkle. So your bed is all, always looking really nice. So I absolutely love them. They are perfect.
So now we are putting the nightstands in. Perfect fit. I am so glad because I did not measure before I ordered these. These lamps I got are from Target. They're cute. They were like $20. Um, you know, something simple. I didn't want a huge lamp to take up a lot of room, but I think I want to get some prints. Um, maybe like California prints, like black and white to kind of put above the nightstands just to finish it off. This layout of this bedroom with these windows are so weird. Um, I don't really like having a window over the top of my bed, but it is what it is. But yeah, look at the vibes, you guys. They completely changed. Before I had a random box as my nightstand, and look at me being a fully functioning adult. I love it for me, <laughs> but this is so relaxing. I just bring my computer in here and chill out and vibe. I love it, you guys. It made all the world a difference. Building furniture is like instant gratification and then you look at the disaster of your living room after and all the boxes and stuff. Well, I already brought that down. You guys do not need to see all that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a lot of boxes, a lot of garbage. So I'm just vacuuming up the place because I plan on mopping. It's been a while since I mopped, honestly. I've just been neglecting my house all summer because I've been on the go. Um, so yeah, it is what it is, babes, but we're getting it together today. Fuck with it, I'll be done with it. I'm the only one that's putting shots up and like a potluck, you need to come with it. Don't run from it. Ace town in the summertime, I keep it 100. A lot of girls in my times there, word of Paul Wall, not one front it. Birthday in my first year, man, I know that place like I come from it. Backstage at warehouse and oh nine like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming for I show up there and there's no one there? These days I could probably pack up like 20 nights if I go in there. Back rough on my main thing, I've been stressed out. Talking to her like back then. How smelling like fabuloso? It's time to eat because it's like three o'clock at this point and your girl hasn't ate since breakfast. So we are headed to the grocery store real quick and we're gonna make chicken enchilada soup. Let's go. So during September, LA has been in a heat wave. I'm talking like 95 degrees. I'm used to a regular fall and this has been crazy, but I'm not turning on my oven. So I got a rotisserie chicken. Why work harder? when like this is the same price you can get a rotisserie chicken for eight dollars you can get raw chicken breast for eight dollars we're not doing that today so i'm throwing some oil into the pot along with some garlic and then after that i'm just taking canned um black beans and corn and draining them and kind of washing them so there's not any like black bean juice in my soup and then we are headed back to the pot mixing that olive round and then we're throwing a jar of salsa in this is going to give you all the flavor i went in with a medium but i'm regretting not getting like a hot salsa since we throw in some chicken broth it kind of makes it less spicy so if you like spicy i would go in with hot and it won't be too hot for you whatsoever um so next we're throwing in the corn and the beans and then we're grabbing the chicken throwing it in you guys this is the easiest meal did I cook anything no I literally it's all chopping and combining <laughs> so yeah next we're going to do some more chopping I'm just rolling out some limes and then cutting them and putting them in baggies I'm doing the same with the onion and the cilantro and those are gonna be your toppings for your soup So major key with soups, make sure to taste test your stuff, you guys, because um, a lot of the time it can be watered down, so like you might need more salt. I needed some more heat, so I threw in some tapatio. Uh, whatever you think it needs, just throw it in the pot, girl. But it's such an easy meal. I ended up scooping it up and I added some sour cream cilantro lime and onion and we were good to go it's a really high protein meal it's very light so i feel like it's a it's a fall soup but you know with a little bit of spice it's bomb
Okay, witches, let's get spooky. <laughs> it's time, you guys. If you don't think that this is the best Halloween movie, you're lying to yourself. And you gotta let me know which one you think is better because I'm gonna watch it and judge you. Uh, but anyways, we are getting our candy dish together. Those caramel apple suckers, they are the best. Make sure you stockpile those. I also have a little haul from Target. Okay, we got the scents, we got the lights, we got the pumpkins. What more do you need? Actually, this is a small haul. I definitely wanna pick up some more stuff, but this is what I could do in the time I had. But yeah, watch me decorate my house for Halloween. And I polled everyone on Instagram and asked, do you decorate for fall or Halloween? And majority of people said fall, and I am a spooky bitch. I think it's the Scorpio in me. You guys, I am a sucker for some ambient lighting, and this was given it to me. You know, picture pouring up a glass of wine, watching a horror movie in October. It's a little chilly out. You got the window open or cracked. Like, give it all to me. Oh, as if I haven't already done the most today, I decided to do a whole new full set of nails. <laughs> um, so I'm pulling out all my nail stuff, and then I put on my mask just so I'm not breathing in any dust particles. And then usually I would clip my nails, um, clip them down, and then you start buffing off all of the paint and then all you do is soak them you guys this is my favorite nail kit I've tried acrylic I've tried poly gel this nail system keeps your nails healthy it's super affordable and it's so beginner friendly like I wish this was made earlier because my nails were looking ratchet for quite a while but I love doing my nails at home I turn on a documentary I just vibe out you know pour a glass of wine um, I'm just fitting these nails into um, like the sizes of my fingers <laughs> and then um, buffing away the bottom applying the gel onto the nail and my natural nail and then curing it under the light it's as simple as that you guys it's such an easy system and what I love most is that removal is easy like with a poly gel and acrylic it is a biatch to remove the nails with this the nail just kind of turns into goo once you soak it into acetone it's super easy to remove and it's so inexpensive you guys I'm gonna link everything below that you might need to start um, but it's gonna pay for itself in one use so I'm just buffing the shine off of the nail so that the nail polish adheres to it better I go in with this Beatles blooming gel this kind of turns any color into like water color it's really cool um, but I'm gonna do this kind of chocolatey swirl design on my nails today it's so easy you guys it's literally like playing with water color <laughs> um, so I'm just putting all of the polished colors on this candle top that I want to use so I'm going with the dark brown some medium browns and then like a lighter creamy color so I'm sorry you're not able to see a lot this is why I don't do nail tutorials <laughs> but you're pretty much just gonna place all the colors all of your nails sporadically they don't nothing about this is perfect and that's what's so beautiful about it because it's easy as hell um, so just apply like one light color one dark color and one medium color and you're gonna be good you can do any colors you want after a while once you're happy with all of the colors that are on there um, you're just gonna kind of like swirl them together so you know like when people mix like um white chocolate and dark chocolate together on like the top of a candy bar that's how it's gonna look it looks really really cool you guys just trust me um, and then you want to clean around um, the sides of the nail because that blooming gel kind of spreads so you're gonna want to make sure to clean that up with some acetone uh, so yeah, I'm just showing you again. It's so freaking easy you guys and I'll show you guys how they turned out in a second I have a better tutorial on my Instagram I think so I'm gonna try and find that and link that for you guys because yeah How bomb is that you can't tell me that these don't look like a hundred dollar nails, right? 
By this point of the day, I was beat, you guys. We decorated my bedroom, we decorated for Halloween, we cleaned, we did our nails, we cooked together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. I had so much fun making it, and if you guys want to see more, let me know. Also, subscribe while you're at it, and follow me on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there. But I sat down, I watched the Dahmer series on Netflix, and I chilled out for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Aside from my soul